praise the Lord. This is your host, Elder Gregory Newsom, with Faith and God Internet TV. God bless you on today. Uh, we bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who's head of our life. We want to give honor to our pastor, Bishop Dr. Ellis Murchison, Pentecostal College Church, and to my own lovely wife, Bishop Newsom, and to all of you today. We want to thank you for joining the Touch the Grief Prayer Hour uh, on the broadcast today. And so we want to uh, definitely give a prayer request for those of you that may have outspoken prayer requests at this time. And so if you have a prayer request, uh, please uh, put your requests out there and we'll make sure we uh, acknowledge that request. Um, we want to definitely pray for our sick, that's the mom us. Let us continue to pray uh, for our pastor and first lady, our designer, system designer, and all of the people of God uh, that are requesting prayer. Especially one of our mothers, our deacons, uh, and that's a member of uh, Bishop and Lisa, and myself, keep us up before the Lord in prayer. And special prayer for my bishop that the Lord continue to strengthen him. He has a busy month, and so I'm going to be praying for him. Uh, the Lord continue to strengthen him. As well as all in the Northern District, our bishop elders, uh, and all of our bishops in our Northern District, as well as in the organization and in the body of Christ as a whole. So we want to definitely pray one for another. Let us pray for the family and friends service. The Lord bless us in those services and that you uh, sit down with the mountain and strengthen um, each and every um, family as it relates to the body of Christ. And uh, let us just continue to pray for those uh, that said pray for us in our need of prayer. So let us go before it's thrown. We can go to Second Chronicles 7 and 14. We did not want to be able to work on future uh, innovations for uh, the broadcast. And so we've been busy with that, but we want to definitely take the time to join in our prayer. So we wanted to definitely uh, give this prayer and pray for those that are traveling. So let us remember those that are traveling. Uh, roadway, railway, or airway, or whatever way that they're traveling, um, and the goal of uh, granting travel grace. So let's go to our prayer of scripture, uh, which is found in um, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 to 16. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open, and my ears attend to the prayer that is made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house, that my name will be there forever, and mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. So let's go before it's done. Eternal God, I say in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, as we come before thee and before thy throne of grace, and I thank you, Lord. Oh God, for your goodness and mercy toward us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for just allowing us, oh God, to pray and oh, call on your holy name. Because we know, oh God, you are God that is able to heal and deliver. And Father, as we pray today, God, we ask you to look down on the body of Christ, look on the people of God. Look on us, God, as we come before you, God, and grab hold to the horns of the altar, Lord. We ask that you to forgive us of any and every sin that we may be unaware of God, forgive us of any secret fault in the name of Jesus. And Lord, help us, God, to have meekness. Help us to be lowly. Help us, God, to, oh, God, how do we help us, God, to learn the way of the Lord in the name of Jesus. And Father, we're not praying, God, that you would humble us, but Father, we pray that we would humble ourselves, oh, God, not only just before you, but before those Oh, God, that see us and that we work with in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and we will continue to, oh, God, show piety, oh, God, embrace humility. Help us right now. And, oh, God, we won't be desirous. And, oh, God, walking in vain glory. Help us today in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we pray now. Oh, God, you continue, oh, God, to grant us, oh, God, with meek, oh, God, and humbleness of mind and our spirit, oh, to serve in the kingdom of God. Father, we pray that you continue to fix what's broke down us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, God, for the body of Christ, those that said pray for us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. 
We ask you to touch them right now, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Oh, God, we need you right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, we're praying, God, that you would touch those, oh, God. Oh, God, that's designed to be saved. Those, oh, God, that are out there, God, that, oh, God, desire to know more about you. Father, we pray you would reach and grab them, Lord, with your anointing, God, through this prayer, God, through the intercessory prayer, through the prayers of the righteous, Lord. We know the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous availing much. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, God, for the family structure. We pray, God, for the church, God. Oh, God, each and every member, God, though we be men and members, we're one body. We pray, God, for the church community. In the name of Jesus, God. Lord, that we would embrace what you embrace. And, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, even in love, God, that we would, oh, God, reject, oh, God, what you reject. But, oh, God, that we would do it in love. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, that they would know, God, there's a God that loves them. In the name of Jesus. Father, we're praying, God, oh, God, that those that are in sin will come out of their sins. And, oh, God, be born again, oh, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, touch us, Lord. Continue to save us, God. Oh, God, that we may be S-A-B-E-D. Help us today, God. Mm. To take advantage of your grace and your salvation. Thank you, God. And oh God, help us to walk low because we know you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us, God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, that we would trust you more, God. Lord, that we need not to our own understanding, God. We pray, God, for our mothers, our deacons. We pray, God. Oh God, for that sinner man and that sinner woman, God. Oh God, whether it be boy or, ch boy or child, we pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you would save, God. Oh, God, that man, that woman, God. Oh, God, that individual, God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, that you will save them, God. Oh, God, from their sins. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, God, because we know you're a loving God. We know you're a God that can. And, Father, we lift our eyes unto the hills from which cometh our help. Our help coming from you, oh, Lord. Continue to strengthen, Lord. Continue to encourage, God. Continue, Lord God, to bless the hearts and minds of those, God. Oh, God, they will turn to you. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, oh, God, that you would, oh, God, continue, Lord God, to manifest your presence. Oh, God, not only in our lives, but through the lives of those we're praying for. God, that they will come into the house of God and be saved, God, and be, oh, God, filled, oh, God, with the goodness of God. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus. Look on the bishops, look on the pastors, look on the elders, God. Look on the ministers, look on the evangelists, God. Look on those disciples and servants, God, that you are called to labor in your vineyard. We pray you would send increase now. But we know, oh God, that, oh God, you're soon to come. And we know, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, except you shorten the days, we know, God, that no flesh will be saved. And, oh God, through a possible. We know the very elect will be deceived, but, oh, God, we thank you, oh, God, for shortening the time and, oh, God, giving us revelation through your word to let no man deceive us. We thank you right now, and, oh, God, help us not to deceive ourselves, oh, God, to think we're something we're not, to help us to be low, that you might be glorified. We thank you now. Look on, oh, God, our missionary tongues and continue to bless them, Lord God. Look on, oh God, our deacons. Look on, oh God, hallelujah, the ministerial body. Oh God, all of our evangelists, oh God, touch them right now. Father, we pray for increase among the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, look on, oh God, Bishop and Mother Young. Look on, oh God, Pastor Hill. Oh God, look on Bishop and Mother Bullock. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, look on Bishop Elder Turner and Lady Turner and the True Holy Family. Touch them, Lord God. Bless them, Lord God. Oh, God, you know what we all need, God. Look on Mr. Della Johnson and Lady Johnson, God. Look on our family right now. Look on our daughter right now, God. Look on their daughter. In the name of Jesus, look on Sister Sheila, God. Touch right now. In the name of Jesus, touch, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we know you're the healer, God. We know you're the deliverer, God. In the name of Jesus, look on, oh, God, Elder Gerald Crane, oh, God. Oh, God, look on, oh, God, Elder Thomas Green. Look on the other one, yeah, God. Sloan, touch, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Touch their families, God. 
We pray thy blessing, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory. We give you praise right now. Look on Bishop Mark Jones. Look on his mother, God. Look on his family. Look on his wife right now, God. Continue to anoint them, Lord God. Oh, God, continue to shower down your presence, God, upon all your people, God, that we might, oh, God, oh, God, bring souls to you in the name of you, through the witness of your word. Help us, God. Oh, God, that we will continue, Lord God. Oh, God, the witness for your, oh, glory to God, for your name's sake, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for it right now. And Father, we claim deliverance for God in the name of Jesus. Look on those that are hurting. Look on those that have bereavement. Look on those, oh God, that are going through various trials and tests. Help them, God, to think and not strange concerning the fiery trial, which come to try them. Look on, oh God, our first lady, Ben, Mother Ben, God. Touch her right now in the name of Jesus. Look on, presider, Bishop, God, Bishop, oh God, Charles, man. Touch him right now, God. Look on, oh God, the system, oh God, their wives. Touch them right now. Look on the executive council board of Bishop, Lord. Strengthen them, God. And oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, bless them. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for it right now. Look on, oh God, my pastor and first lady, God. Look on, oh God, Lady Carla, and continue to touch our body, Lord. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, continue to touch our bishop, God. Continue to do it, God. We'll be kept and glorified and give you praise right now. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. Oh God, we thank you, God, for this touch and agree for our God. All that would touch and agree, God. Oh, God, for healing among the people. Healing in our land. Healing in our cities and our communities. Healing in our churches. Healing, God. Hallelujah. In our schools, God. Oh, God, Father, we pray. Healing, oh, God, in our government. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, that we know what happens around us affect the church. And, Father, we know some things are going to be prophetic. We know some things and understand some things are going to take place and there's nothing we can do there's no prayer we can pray oh god that will stop these things from transpiring but oh god you said oh god you would not destroy the righteous with the wicked lord continue to preserve the just oh god in this prayer request we thank you we ever give you praise look on bishop prather oh god continue to touch his body look on oh god oh god mother pray to touch her right now look on mother pray to touch her lord in the name of jesus oh god look on bishop Mother Scarlet, bless him, God. Look on Bishop and Mother Cobb, bless him, God. In the name of Jesus. Look on Bishop and Mother Bear, bless him, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Look on Bishop and Mother Ross, bless him, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Look on Bishop Bella Eubanks, God, and Mother Eubanks, bless him, God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Lord, we thank you right now. Oh, God, we thank you for the body of Christ. Oh, God, bless us all, Lord. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, that you might be glorified. We thank you, Lord, for the prayer request. We thank you for the petitions, God. For those that said pray for us. Those, oh, God, that couldn't pray for themselves. But, oh, God, put it on Facebook and posted it on YouTube for us to intercede. Father, we thank you for this prayer. And, Father, we pray for all of those that are in need, that you will meet them at their point of need, according to your riches and glory. And Father, we forever thank you. We forever give you the glory, honor, and the praise. And we thank you for a great deliverance now. These are another blessing we ask and pray in Jesus' name to the glory of God. Thank God. Amen. And amen. Praise God. And so we thank God for uh, the prayer that's been prayed. Uh, I'm going to take a brief second here uh, to grab our phone. Uh, I just uh, wanted to get started. Uh, on the broadcast today, I want to grab our phone so we can see who's on with us today. And so we want to thank you for joining us on Faith and God in that TV broadcast. Thank you for your prayer hour. We want to exhort you today uh, in the word of the Lord. We're going to be brief today uh, working on programming some automation. We so if you're in need of some automation services, uh, We'll be glad to help you out when you do some programming. So we're going to program some automation today. And so before we do that, we want to get into the Word of the Lord. And so let us take a look here as we look at uh, the church community. We want to take a look uh, at uh, the church community. And we want to uh, talk about scriptures uh, as we um, 
discuss uh, the church community. We know the church has been called out. Ecclesia means called out once. We know uh, the church is a, 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 a not an organization, but it is an organism. Meaning it's a living entity. We're alive that's known built up a spiritual house. And so, uh, since we're lively stones, that means the word, the word quicken means to be made alive. And so the Bible said, you have he quickened who was dead in trespasses and in sin. So Christ quickened, made the church alive through his atoning blood sacrifice by him uh, dying on the cross for our sins. Being buried uh, in the uh, grave for three days and uh, rising and uh, declaring all power in heaven and earth. So that makes Jesus Lord. Hmm? And uh, he's not only Lord, he's also uh, the uh, high priest of the church forever after the water of Melchizedek. So without getting into a lot of uh, uh, theology language, we're going to get into what we want to talk about today is the church community. Our responsibility and our mission to the world is to be active, praise God. Uh, when I say be active, meaning we got to be diligent. Hmm? Because the Bible says he's the water of those that diligently seek him. And so that's why we must have faith. So uh, we must actively reach out to others. We must uh, participate. Uh, we must participate uh, as it relates to uh, the body of Christ. We must reach out to others, uh, participate in uh, services, coming together, fellowships, and the life of the church. Uh, the life of the church, uh, which we didn't talk about this week. We talked about, we touched it, but we didn't talk about it. So we're going to discuss a little bit in depth for this next 15 minutes. Um, and that's what we want to cum culminate uh, this particular uh, topic on the church community. We should be building relationships. And the best way to build relationships in the church is to have same married couple, praise God. I know it sounds strange, but to have same married couples, you know, being example and investing in others, families that come in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we should never want to see uh, families broke up. Hmm? We should never want to see the house divide. Hmm? Because anytime we are comfortable and satisfied with seeing things uh, uh, ill, uh, how can I say, ill-mannered and ill-equipped and uh, uh, not really set in the proper order, we can become a sick church community. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to tell you something. The warning came to all the pastors in Revelation. He warned all the seven churches of Asia and he let them know the church that was lukewarm, that was the church that made God sick. All glory to God. Mm -hmm. I see I'm going to be a while now. Mm -hmm. We do not want to be the church that made God sick. Mm -hmm. So the life of the church should be building relationships. And the way we do it, not only through witnessing, but through having saved, wholesome, committed families. Mm -hmm. And this will cause the church to thrive, and, and this will cause other families to come in. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe 
Uh, we can do it by witnessing, uh, through uh, track witnessing, uh, through uh, door hangers, through uh, uh, giving flyers out, and then we can do uh, uh, giveaways. We can do all kinds of activities by Vacation Bible School. These are many tools that God has equipped the church with. Sunday school, mm -hmm. morning manner. These are things where, where people can come in off the street and get free breakfast. Praise the Lord. On the church. Why? Because we're investing in others. Glory. Mm -hmm. Not morning manner for the saints to get full. No, we're going to fast on Saturday and the other folk going to eat. Praise the Lord. Glory. I got to get out of here. I got to go. Mm -hmm. So we, our mind can be focused. All glory be to God on the main objective. All glory be to God. And then we're going to eat when it's all over with. Praise the Lord. Hmm? Because too many times we're all oh, glory be to God. I got to quit. Too many times we stand at the table and the, the person that needs help can't get to the table and get saying. Hmm? And so we, 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 the bishop did a powerful message on it. I, I really enjoyed him on Sunday. My bishop, he really preached hard. He he may have not recognize it, but he said, I may have to move around, but I ain't going nowhere. And that makes a lot of sense hmm? as it relates to investing in others. Hmm? And we got to keep digging. Hmm? Bishop was uh, talking about something very, very interesting dealing with, you know, Abraham, you know, uh, the Lord blessing him. And he had a son, Isaac, and Isaac, uh, since he was uh, Abraham's promised seed, he went out and he started, you know, letting the Lord use him. But he remembered. He remembered what Abraham had taught him. Hmm? And he started digging wells. All glory be God. And this is why I say people should be like priests. I see my bishop praying. I see my bishop working. I see my bishop doing everything he can do to help the saints. I'm trying to do the exact same thing, praise God. Mm -hmm. And if we're doing anything opposite of what we're being taught, we're doing ourselves and we're doing God a disservice. Praise the Lord. And so, <clears throat> let me say this. I got to go. I, I can't be here all day. I got to go. I said I'm going to be here. I got about five to ten more minutes. So, I got about five minutes. But when we look at this, we must be Building relationships and investing in others. Hmm? And let me go to the scripture. We're going to go to uh, let's go to Ephesians chapter five. Let's go to Ephesians chapter five. And we'll get there. Let's go to Ephesians chapter five. And we're going to go to let's see if we, if we can do. We're going to get a few of the scriptures. Ephesians five and let's see. Ephesians uh, 5 and 20. Ephesians 5 and 20. You know, we're not feeling uh, 100. You know, when I say we're not feeling 100, you know, as saints and people of God, we're not always on our best game. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we must be mindful that even though uh, every day is not going to be Sunday, and you may find it difficult, hmm? this is what this is what they did in Ephesians, Ephesians five and twenty. It says here, giving thanks always for all things unto God. Hmm? You ought to thank God on your worst day. Oh, glory be, glory be to God. Hmm? On your worst day, it's a blessed day. Because hmm? you're here on this earth and God has blessed you oh, Lord, with another opportunity to get just a little bit closer into song into somebody else. Now look at this. He says here, giving thanks always for all things unto God the Father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
we should be doing more thanking than complaining. Glory. Oh, I'm encouraging you, my friend, on this Touch and Agree broadcast per hour. We ought to do more thanking God. Mm, oh, glory be to God. Than complaining to God about what we're going through. Look at this. And he says, submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. Do we fear God? That's the question. Because hmm? if we get low, I really enjoyed Bishop. Uh, by the way, it's my sidebar. I enjoyed Bishop Murdoch's uh, Wednesday the Bible class. He was talking about, you know, humility. The root word humility is to be humble. But it really just deals with low, a lower state. And saints, if there's ever been a time that we need to get lower, I remember uh, there was this commercial that Pick and Save or some company had, Rounding well, the Pick and Save, had in the 80s. And, and, and the, the slogan went like this, how low can you go? Huh? And I still ask that question today to you on this particular broadcast today. How low can we go? Because hmm? we can go lower. Hmm? Well, what you mean of this? Let me break it down. Because sometimes I be talking uh, too much scripture-based stuff. So let me just break it down to you and let me turn. How low can you go? We can go lower uh, by serving one another. We can go lower hmm? by serving those in our community and those that are around us and those that need us in their lives. And I said it. I know some people may have not caught this on last on the last broadcast. I said on purpose when I was a, a manager at the company I worked at, I didn't sit with the big bosses. Hmm? I didn't go out to lunch and rub elbows and brown nose to try to go higher. I sat with the employees to let them know I appreciate them because I was once an employee just like them doing their job. Praise the Lord. And there must be some common some, some commonality among us. And Jesus demonstrated when he sat with publicans and sinners, and they called him Bezebub. Hmm? They criticized Jesus because he was low. Hmm? And so here's the thing. Let me get out of here. I got to go. We need to be submitting one to another in the fear of God and working together in the fear of God. Because hmm? guess what? God said whatever right he's going to pay. And so you may find it difficult sometimes to give thanks. Going back to my initial uh, statement of verbiage, we sometimes find it difficult when we're going through things uh, uh, to feel upbeat and give thanks. But we need to uh, uh, believe and trust in the living God that he will work things out. Otherwise, we couldn't quote the scripture, Romans 8 28, and we know that all things work together for the good. Hmm? Sometimes we know it's for the good, but we can't see the good. All oh, glory be to God. And sometimes God will give you a little glimpse of seeing the good all glory be God in what you're going through because you're being a blessing to somebody else all glory be God hmm? and so we shouldn't be weary in well doing God gonna work it out if we love it that's the key he gonna work it out if we love it and we gotta make sure our lives Fit into his plan. Hmm? According to his purpose. Romans 8 and 28 says, And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God and are the call according to his plans. All oh, glory be to God. God has plans for you. Jeremiah 29 and 11, he says, All oh, glory be to God. Hmm? I know the thoughts. He says here, I know the thoughts that I think toward thee, said the Lord. Hmm? Thoughts of peace 
and not of evil, but to give unto you an expected evil. Glory! God has plans for your life. And you thinking about committing suicide, you thinking about throwing in the towel, you thinking about giving up, think again. Glory! I'm here to encourage you today. Hmm? We need to not let the, oh God, let the suffering of this present time is not worthy. The glory that shall be revealed in us. You need to, what you need to do, you need to be encouraged. And thank God, not for your problems, but for the strength. Oh, glory be to God. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. You got strength, oh, glory be to God, to still tell God thank you. And you got, and you may have a terminal illness. You may have a, a failing health. You may have a lot of other problems going on. And you got people in perfect health won't thank the Lord. Oh, glory be to God. I got to get out of here. Saints, I love y'all. I got, I got to go. Hmm? You got people that ain't got one iota going on in their body. And they got too much pride to thank the Lord. Hmm? And you got everything going wrong. Oh, glory be to God. As it appears to be. All glory be to God. But one thing you got going right, baby. All glory be to God. You in the master's hands. And Jesus said, who's in the father's hand, no man is able to pluck him out. And I want to encourage you and let you know, keep fighting. All glory be to God. Fight on. All glory be to God. You need what you need to do is fight on. Hmm? Because we don't keep the sword in our hand. Hmm? Sometimes we stop. Sometimes we give up. Sometimes we complain. The Bible said do all things without murmuring and disputing. Praise God. I got to let you go. I got to get out of here. But we got to understand it's according to his plan. We got to thank God, not for our problems, but for the strength he's building in you and through you. And Jude says, but ye beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. This is what we need to do in the church community. We need to be building relationships, investing in others. We need to be loving others. Not saying that we're not, but we need to love others more, even more. Huh? Treat even the lowest person with dignity and respect and compassion. Hmm? And then we need to serve. Hmm? Mm, all glory be to God. We need to serve our churches and we need to serve our communities. Hmm? In whatever level of capacity, uh, do it with all your might. Hmm? Uh, Sometimes we have difficult experiences in our lives. Hmm? But God, perfect love. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Perfect love cast out fear. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? Submission is often, uh, I think, I won't say always oh, misunderstood, but I think submission is sometimes underestimated uh, because uh, some people think because. Uh, I submit to authority that I'm a doormat. No, that don't mean I'm a doormat. Hmm? Uh, submission helps us uh, to ward off self-exaltation. It helps us to uh, kill, you know, flesh, fleshly pride, self-will. Hmm? Submission helps us to stay low, praise God. Hmm? But it doesn't mean we're a doormat. You can speak truth to power, but you got to stay low. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you got to know how to do it. And, and sometimes people uh, may walk on you. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me break this down to you. People may walk on you, walk on you at the expense of you teaching them a lesson. Mm -hmm. That's good if they can learn from you staying low. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we'll get in ourselves and we'll say, I don't know who they think. Do they know who they do they know who they messing with? Oh, praise the Lord. So we can't go there. Hmm?
Remember, submission is going to happen when Christ comes back and the saints come back with Christ to ultimately judge the world. Hmm? Every knee, the Bible says every knee going to bow and every tongue going to confess. So there's going to be a time of submission for the unjust. It's just not now. And so sometimes we 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 get weary and all oh, I got to quit. Sometimes we get worked up because we want to deal with that. Hmm? But I remember the song. And I don't know why I keep saying this, but evangelist Lee sing the song, God can handle it better than you can. And I've learned to leave it alone. Praise the Lord. Hmm? I learned over these years of seeing various ways uh, uh, that uh, leadership operates and deal with issues just sometimes it's better just to leave it alone anyway because there's nothing you can do with it if the egg is unscrambled you can't make it a whole egg again and I've learned through wisdom if the egg's been scrambled you can't get it back in the shell and make it a whole egg again with the yolk you just gotta let it stay scrambled hmm? And God, when he gets ready, he'll deal with the issue. Praise God. Because something is not in our hands. And so we need to learn uh, these various things through wisdom. But let's take a look as I close. I'm closing. Oh, I got to go. Yeah, I got to go now for real. So we're going to let you go. Doesn't mean you're a doormat, but it just simply means that we're submitting and we're honoring Christ, who is our example. Don't look at it on a negative state. Always look at it. Uh, we, when we become more willing to obey his command, we'll submit to others. Hmm? And he says it there in Ephesians, submitting yourself one to another and feel God. We need to know how to do it. Hmm? Uh, sometimes in marriages, people don't uh, want to accept submission. Hmm? And just because uh, you the husband it doesn't mean you have to be all glory to God, the one that's, you know, throwing your weight around. We just need to learn how to live together hmm? in peace and in love hmm? because God has called us to peace, not to war. Praise God. Hmm? And so we need to understand hmm? the Bible says in Proverbs it's better hmm? to be on the rooftop. Oh, glory be to God. I got to go. Hmm? Then to stay in the house with a brawling woman. So I won't let you know. It's important that you have peace mm, and tranquil in your family, in your house. And I thank God for missionary this. And I thank God we got tranquil, we got peace, and uh, we just work together. Whether it be in the church, at home, or wherever we need to work, we just try to find ourselves working together because it's going to take all of us. As I close out today on these uh, number five, the church community. I, you don't remember nothing else through the whole series. Remember this. On this year, it's going to take all of us. Hmm? We can try to slice the bread. It's one loaf. The church is one loaf of bread. Praise the Lord. Hmm? And if somebody hungry, they should be able to come in and eat. Praise the Lord. I'm just cutting through the chase now. I'm getting right at it. The church is one loaf of bread. Hmm? And the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is coming on going on and anytime we try to divide it up hmm, we're going to run into problems hmm? you need help and then because hey I'm not a part of this group I'm not going to help you no we need to cut this stuff now and it's just one loaf of bread and we all working together I hope I said something to help you hmm? I hope I said something to encourage you huh? when we well, all go to God huh? when we go out on our fundraising campaign it's just going to be Everybody doing the same thing. Ain't no, oh, well, this, oh, let me get out of here. I got to go. Hmm? We need to learn how to work together. Hmm? So guess what? People are working on their campaign and do well, and then you struggle with your campaign, they won't help you with your campaign. So you know how to fix that problem? One loaf of bread, and we all work together. These are wisdom, words of wisdom. These are words of faith and words of encouragement. So I'm your host, Ellie Gregory Newsom with Faith in God Internet TV. Until next time, we love you with the love of the Lord. We say God bless you. We did have more. We're not going to finish up by 
we're just going to have to pick it up later on down through the year. And we're going to our number six. We're at our, we're at our culmination. And uh, next week, we're going to be talking about the commission. Praise God. Mm -hmm. If you consider yourself a disciple and you're not disciplined enough mm -hmm, to be low mm -hmm, and work in the church community, mm -hmm, you didn't miss the whole commission. And so we're going to talk about commission. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, God is challenging us on our commission. Sometimes we say we, we've been called and we have a vocation. We're going to talk about the calling on the commission. We're going to talk about the calling, the spiritual gifts, sharing faith, and the authority that God has given uh, uh, us to walk in as a disciple of his. So we're going to talk about those things next week. We're going to talk about four of those things under number six. And so uh, we will have our church service tonight at 7 o'clock, family and friends. 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock p.m. We hope to see you there. We will be on Facebook uh, at PPC-MKE. Uh, you can go to YouTube or you can go to Facebook. It will be at ppc Space MKE. You look up those words in the search box and you will find uh, Pentecost Power Church Milwaukee. Uh, for our pastor, Bishop Dr. Ellis Merchant Sr. is the pastor. And so please join us back tonight. Uh, we have uh, a good speaker and we have our family and friends. So you are invited. If you're in the city or you happen to be coming to the city, hmm? you are invited to the family and friends service. So if I don't say anything else, we hope to see you tonight, the Lord's will. And we'll say God bless you. Keep us in your prayers. We pray that your worship and your prayer service and worship service uh, that you're having this weekend, that the Lord bless uh, your prayer and worship service when you come together with the people of God. And so continue to keep us in your prayers. If there's any out there that want prayer, we're going to go ahead and close out with prayer today because um, we um, kind of started a little later. But we want to close in prayer for those that came on late. If you need a prayer, we're going to touch and agree with you now and pray uh, that the Lord will continue to honor our petitions and our requests. Eternal God, I say, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, as we, oh God, come to a close with the broadcast today. We pray our blessing, God, that you will want the hearts, minds, and ears of your people, oh God, to be sure and share, oh God, the good news and the gospel of Jesus Christ, oh God, as it relates to uh, the church community, the community. We pray now, God, that you bless us as a, oh God, church community, and bless us, oh God, as individual servants, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the families that are sick, those that, oh God, need healing, we pray that you will touch them. those that just came on the broadcast. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will touch in a special way. Move by your power and your anointing. Oh, God, that we know your anointing makes a difference. Oh, God, and your anointing destroys yokes. We pray now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, that you will go into that place, God. Help us to get into that place, God, that secret place. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Oh, God. For the sacrifice, oh God, is received. Help us, God, that our request, God, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable. In thy sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. We thank you now for those that you're yet saving, those that need to be baptized, those that come to repentance, God. Lord, that they will find a church, oh God, that's blood washed, that's oh God, spirit filled, and that believe in water baptism in the name of Jesus that the soul might be saved and filled with the Holy Ghost and oh God teaching oh God the apostles teaching oh God which is the good news of the death burial and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ we pray thy blessing now God that you would open up their understanding oh God there's many who want to know about this way God there's only one God Oh, God, sin, oh, God, understand it. Give them revelation. And, oh, God, bless them and increase them, Lord. They will have a testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. 
We ever give you glory and praise. Oh, God, we thank you for deliverance. And we thank you for your blessing now. These are another blessing we ask and pray in the name of Jesus. To the glory of God, we thank you right now for that soul. Oh, God, that's crying out. That soul that come to you. Oh, God, look on that backslide. Oh, God, touch them, Lord. Oh, God, that they will come running back to you. And, Father, they will render praise to your name. We thank you for it now. We decree and declare. We thank you for deliverance. In Jesus' name, to the glory of God. Thank God. Amen. And amen. Praise God. Amen. Again, I'm your host, Elder Gregory Newsom. I'm the Touch and Grief Prayer. I thank you for joining us today. Uh, until next time, uh, we're going to say uh, that we hope to see you soon. Until next time, uh, we pray that God will bless you and God will keep you. In Jesus' name, God bless.